Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the powers that you have when you can detect when the player chats and do stuff with like admin commands and all that stuff. So let's get right into it. So right here, I am in a server script and I am getting the game.players.player added event. From this, we all know that we get the player from this. So when we come down here, we can say player.chatted. There is an event called chatted and you connect it to a function. Now this takes two things, well just one, because the second thing is deprecated, but it takes a message, which is a string. Alright, so when the player chats, let's say I say hi, message is hi. So player.chat, it's very simple. Um, I'm just saying game.players.player added just so I can get the player, right? So if you're in a client script, you, you would say the local player. But anyways, um, when we print message, and we go into the game. So I'm going to chat hi. And down here it says hi, right? You know, all lowercase. But if I wanted this to have an uppercase H and hi, I can do that too. And down here it has the uppercase H. And you can also say hi in all uppercases. This might be an issue when you are trying to do something like an admin command. Um, because the player can say something in so many ways, right? All uppercase, a certain letter's uppercase, like, they can still be saying it, but certain letters can be uppercase, lowercase, if you know what I mean. So we need to change it so we can detect when it's, um, like, so we can just detect it no matter how it is. Well, what we're going to be doing is making a new variable called new string you can name that whatever you want but we're gonna equal that to string and there's a thing called lower there's also i'm pretty sure a thing called string dot upper but i would prefer lower so if you guys can infer string dot lower turns the string or the text string of text that is supplied in here to all lowercase and same thing here to all uppercase if you can't figure this out already, this is how we can identify um, the player's chat and if it's the same thing as, well, what we would want them to say. So string dot lower, send in the message, and we're going to print new string. We open up the output, play the game again, and I put lowercase, I say hi again, but all lowercase. It is going to print all lowercase, right? Let's say... I do uppercase H and and uh, high. No matter what, it's still going to be lowercase. Again, an uppercase, all, all uppercase, it still formats it to be all lowercase. And, I, and that's it for any word. So like Stewie, it's lowercase. So, using that, we can um, check to see what the string is. So, we can say if new string, and this is where, like, you could have a command or something. So, if new string is equal equal to, let's say, give, or, um, make me fast. Or, you have to do that in all, remember, you have to do that in all lowercase. Make me fast, and if it is... And we're going to change player dot character dot humanoid. Oops, dot humanoid dot walk speed equals to 100. So when you go into the game, right, um, we can say make me slow. You know, something weird like my 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 walk speed is the is regular. It's normal. And if I say make me fast it doesn't matter if i have an uh an uppercase letter in there and i press enter and i say make me fast i'm still going to be fast no matter what uppercase and lowercase letters i put in if you guys get my point here it doesn't matter what we put in as long as it is saying make me fast it is still going to work and as you can see i'm speeding across the base plate now using this command that we've uh, made here now i have to bring up a next point when using this message it is the message exactly how it is returned from the chat but 
in the filtering process, the message is unfiltered, which means it, it, this. It, okay, so let's say you drop the f bomb in the Roblox chat. All right, Roblox itself would tag it right over your head. It would tag it, but this message would still return it. It's unfiltered. Now this is important because if you're doing something like making your own chat system, um, it is important that you think about the filtering because if the if your game does not properly filter the chat, like um, whatever the player is saying and getting here, um, Roblox can moderate your game for it and you'll have it taken down or you get banned. So keep um, that in mind when making your own chat systems or your um, doing commands and, and all that st stuff like this. But again, how do you do this? Well, you use a service called Text Service. Text Service um, is the primary source service for handling the display of text. In, in simple words, I, I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Um, just handling text and doing stuff like filtering, getting text size, Stuff like that, I would use um, text service. All right. So, guys, text service, if we um, go down here and we say text service, um, fil what is it? Filter string async. This takes the string to be filtered, which is our message, and the user ID, which is player.userID or from user ID. This also takes. Um, enum dot fil text filter context and this is public chat or private chat this I'm pretty sure is not required um but public chat is if you are chatting you know just openly in the chat or the private chat if you are like personally messaging somebody in the Roblox chat that's um just to I'm pretty sure to help the the filtering um, but I do want to keep another warning here using text service and the filter string um, thing that it should only be used each time a user is chatting like every time a user is chatting because if you save all these and cache them and reuse them for separate messages and if you know if it's used multiple times that that might like trigger Roblox's spam detection and might you know again face moderation to your game and stuff like that so keep keep that in mind and I'm pretty sure we wrap this in a result so result because that takes it this returns a result if it had to be moderated or not all right I'm sorry guys I actually forgot to add something here so I'm gonna say put here filtered instance just to make have it make more sense and then right here I'm gonna say local filtered string just for simplicity equals uh, the filtered instance get non chat string for user async and put in the player not user ID what this does is it all it goes through another filtering stage and sees if your account age is 13 and up or not because you know there's different um, filtering types in Roblox chat like um, you know people 13 and up your account age 13 and up can basically say a little bit more than uh, if your account age was not 13 and up so this is checking for that and also filtering it even more based on that um, if that makes any sense all right, so now if you print the filtered string, um, you will see that when you go into the game and you have the output, and when you chat, like I'm gonna say hi again, it says hi, but that is the filtered way. Now I'm not gonna type anything bad in the chat, because I obviously get my account moderated, but that is filtering the whatever is going through the chat now, and we can detect that. Uh, you know, because we have to filter it when we are checking for the message and make sure it is everything is okay and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so the last step here is you can put near filtered string and everything is all good. It is being filtered. We're making sure that we're able to get it and all 
lowercase, and when you can print new string, go into the game, let's open up the output, and I say hi, you know, there's hi, make me fast, there's make me fast the text, and we also run fast now, so that is pretty cool. Okay guys, so for the last example of this video, I'm going to make it so when you say like give me 100 cash or something like that, then it will give it to you. So it's like a command where it gives you money. So I made another script and this is your leader stats, you know, your stats in your game. I called it cash, just, you know, very basic. Pretty much everybody is knows that. So how we can make this happen is by getting rid of what we have here and just by leaving our new string. And then we're just going to check if new string is equal equal to, I'm going to say, give me money. Or like, uh, make, make me rich in all lowercase. Remember again, I'm going to say make me rich. Then player dot leader stats or wherever your currency is at cash dot value equals itself. And then add like a million. So. That's a million. All right. Let's test this out. All righty. So I'm going to say hi again. Just to test it. You know, obviously it's not going to work. But I'm going to say make me rich. I'm going to have uh, these, the beginning of every word capitalized. So I'm going to say make me rich. It doesn't even matter. But now we have one million cash. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video, or you guys just enjoyed it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.